documented. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Kat, I have to say the best weight loss exercise is or best exercise for weight loss. <laughs> yep. Is the one that you guys enjoy doing the most and the one that you're going to keep doing. Ah, so love that. If that Thank is you. running for you, then running is a great weight loss exercise or exercise for weight loss. <laughs> We're talking backwards today. But for some people, running may not be an ideal way to exercise. Mm -hmm. Spinning may be more your thing. Zumba may be more your thing. But remember, cardiovascular exercise is still only one component of the weight loss mm -hmm. equation. You still need to resistance train because by doing resistance training, you're building that muscle, which then helps you burn more calories during the right. day as well. And you still need to watch what you eat. Absolutely. So in general, move more, eat less, yeah. choose healthier foods, watch your portion sizes, yeah. and you're good to go. That's right. That's a very good answer. Technically speaking, the best, most effective exercise for weight loss is really the one that burns the most calories. Absolutely. Right? Technically speaking. The more but, intense, the better. Yeah, exactly. but if you can't stick to mm -hmm. it, what's the point? Yeah. If so you, you don't like it, you're exactly. not going to do it. So, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Kat, your question. Mm -hmm. Does fat make you fat? I think our viewers know the answer to this by I now. think they do too. <laughs> you guys know that fat doesn't make you fat unless you overeat and all of your calories for that day exceeds the calories that you burn, right? Good. Got, glad we got that cleared mm -hmm. up. <laughs> okay, so Christy, for you, does muscle weigh more than fat? This is a very interesting question. I love this mm -hmm. question, Kat, because I have seen you guys writing about it <laughs> all the time on Share Care. I love it. Yep. Many of many people think that fat does in fact weigh. Oh, muscle does yes. weigh more than fat. But the truth is, a pound of muscle weighs exactly the same as a pound of fat. Because it's a pound. A pound and a pound weigh the same. But muscle is denser mm -hmm. than fat. Mm -hmm. So let me give you an example. We have two women, both 150 pounds. One woman is 20% body fat. The other woman is 40% body mm -hmm. fat. Who do you think is going to look smaller? They both weigh the same. Right. Well, the woman with the lower body fat, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because muscle is denser. So a pound of fat does weigh the same as a pound of muscle, mm -hmm. but you really want to build more muscle so you get that tighter look. Yeah. And I think that's a lot of, the, a lot of times what happens is if you start a resistance training program or a new weight bearing uh, exercise routine, that you can, you know, gain a little bit of muscle mm -hmm. and still lose inches. Absolutely. Because you're getting smaller. Absolutely. Yeah. And a lot of you guys are getting frustrated because you're not seeing the scale going down. Mm -hmm. But that's why I always come back at you is, are you taking measurements? That's because right. even though the scale may not be changing, your body composition may be changing, which is a very good thing. Which is what we want to happen. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Next question for you, Christy. Does stretching make you weaker? This is another really good question. Mm -hmm. And I personally think that stretching is very important to anyone's mm -hmm. fitness routine. Right. However, research does show that static stretching performed before high intensity exercise or high level strength training can in fact decrease your strength and power. 